Welcome back to Kevin Toll Reads. Happy Friday. Good morning. I am doing a book review of Hostage by Robert Crass. This was published in 2001. It's a standalone novel from Robert Crass, who also writes a series. And it spawned a movie adaptation in 2005 starring Bruce Willis. This was a recommendation from Professor X, who thought I, that I would really connect with this book. And boy, was he right. I'll link his channel in the description. I really enjoyed this story, so let's jump right in and talk about the summary. The summary revolves around the main protagonist, Jeff Talley. He's a former LAPD police officer who did a stint in SWAT and hostage negotiation. And then you get to kind of see at the beginning his backstory. He had a specific hostage negotiation that went south where a young kid who was a hostage was shot and killed. And he felt like he didn't make the right calls as the lead negotiator. And so it has a profound effect on his psyche, his emotional um, stability, as well as his working relationships at the police force in uh, Los Angeles, as well as his personal relationship with his wife and young child, who they're now separated. And Tally has moved outside of L.A. into the suburbs of Camino Bristo, where he became police chief based on his experience and whatnot. And he gets thrown into another hostage negotiation um in his hometown, which seems really far-fetched because it's lower crime. Um, and that spurs from these three criminals. And when you, you realize at the beginning of the story, these three criminals go to rob a convenience store. They It goes wrong for them. And the next thing you know, they're making bad choices. And then they come upon a house to try to get a different vehicle to escape. And it turns into a hostage negotiation situation. And Tally gets called in. And then things really start to kind of go off the rails. There's more, way more involved from the house and the people that are living there to the actual perps themselves and to some mob connections. So this really unfolds into many different plot threads and it's very interesting. And so I wanted to talk about some things I like because obviously I liked a lot here when it comes to this book. This pace on this book is so rip roaring fast like it it's it's really unput downable uh, I develop I devour this in two settings it's that good like it really is a fantastic read I mean it's it's so fast paced and I, I liked everything about that I was engaged from the beginning um, one of the memorable quotes it, it just opens up with this first sentence the man in the house is going to kill himself that was the first sentence in this, and then that's the first sentence in the book, and that is in the prologue. That's the first sentence in the prologue. And so immediately I'm like, okay, well, you got my attention, and it just, it was just boom all the way through. So anyways, terrible sound effect on my part, but we'll keep rolling. I also liked the setup of how he told the story. It's kind of time stamped. It reminds me a lot of Airframe by Michael Crichton. Where you get like Friday, 8 p.m., you know, this person. And it jumps from POV to POV. You get Chief Tally. You get a perpetrator. You get this perpetrator. You get this young girl who's being held hostage. Then it jumps to... And you get... The story's continuous, but you get these different bits that all seamlessly fit together. All the while you're jumping like hour to hour, like what's the update? Where are we at? You know, like it, it's really cool. I really, really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the mob connection that's in this story. Again, I'm not going to get into any spoilers here, but I really enjoyed that. I, it added a layer that was really, really cool, especially when you you fi you find out that there's definitely a mole or moles, and there's people on the payroll of the mob people, and you don't know who to trust type thing. And so I thought that was really, really cool. I liked how they use that to gain leverage and they're trying to influence decisions. And it's a very interesting story. In terms of criticisms, things I didn't like, I don't really find anything in here that I didn't like. I thought it all made sense. I thought it all was perfect. I just kept, you know, holding on to my seat and just letting this thing kind of just unfold in front of me and it was fast 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 in terms of my rating i give this a 4.7 out of 5 i think it is a fantastic book it is definitely something that i think you should read especially if you like 
thrillers, crime, mystery, suspense type books. I mean, this is definitely something you can knock down over the weekend really easy. It's 350 pages and it, it just flies. So that is my review at a high level for this book. I hope you enjoy this. I am also going to link a video up here that I posted yesterday around ratings and man oh man did it get a lot of attention. I have gotten more comments on this video than I on any other video uh, of the 200 plus I have on the channel. I mean there's a lot of feedback and it has been great. Um, so I'll put a link to that video in in uh, up here and so if you want to check it out or haven't checked it out you should do so. Otherwise I hope you're having a great Friday. Again Highly recommend Robert Crass Hostage. Uh, enjoy your long weekend if you're having a long weekend, and I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.